Hey, do you have duct tape somewhere? Uh, Matt, if we had duct tape, we'd run out too fast. We need more duct tape. Uh, I'm legitimately going rage mode right now. This system was working earlier. Now it doesn't work. Watch this. I click it. It says, that's a toggle button. Oh, no, it is working. No, but this one isn't. This one's the one that's not working. Could not recognize. Didn't know what to do. How does it not know what to do? Hey, guess how long that video took to export? This, the, the Ikea shopping video? Yeah, yeah, it's like a seven, eight minute clip. Okay, like two hours, two and a half. That, that would normally make sense. It took a minute and 30. A minute and 30 seconds. That's it. A 14, no way. 40 clip. No way. In a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, you're actually joking. No, not at all. This is like a six minute clip running at 1440. Yep, and the raw video was a 4K as well, so it was pretty crazy. My plan was like... Hey Matt, what are you working on? Working on editing our studio tour, so we're doing pretty good. It's basically all edited. I just gotta get it up on YouTube for you guys. Matt, where's the shirts? Somewhere in the mail. We have no idea quite. Like two more days left of shipping, so it'll probably be in the next vlog. Hopefully. Sure, sure it will, Matt. Yeah, I don't sure. think you actually ordered them. Ooh, man, throw in the shade. I don't know, we'll have to find out in the next one. You guys see Matt out there? You see him right there? He's going to get the papers. Pretty cool, right? What's he doing? Oh, did he print them in large? Oh my, they're blueprints. That's awesome. You're ready for how cool this is. Matt, are they blueprint sized? Oh my god, they are. They are. I saw you walking in. You did? Yes. Okay, I'm so excited. How did you do this? Coolness. Is this your new printer that you were talking about? No. Did you go to get a printer? Yeah. That's so awesome. We yeah. have to do this As to every. As you get it for like a dollar. Are you serious? Yeah. We're getting all design prints printed like this from now on. You ready for this? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, it is. That is legitimately. Dude, one to one scaling. So, you know exactly how big it's gonna be. That is amazing, Matt. Uh huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Look at that. The detail in this. That is amazing, Matt. This is honestly. This is all, we're getting everything printed like this yeah, now. Yeah, we are. You want to hang this beautiful, beautiful blueprint up here where the Minecraft poster is, but uh, we kind of need it, so we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it down here so everybody can be like, whoa, those are some cool designs. You guys are like real engineers, am I right? I mean, we can still look at it when it's on the wall. I think we can put it up there. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's put it up there. Yeah, we go. It's like peeling the plastic off of new. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like peeling the plastic off of like new devices. That is nice. That is beautiful. That is really nice. Let's get nice. a light on this thing. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is something else. Right next to the 3D printer, I feel professional. Do you feel professional? Man? I feel pretty. F you're okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of the things that we need to work on is building the light source for the prototype. Now, obviously, on the prototype, the light source is not efficient enough right now, and the real version will actually use a lot of power, I believe. Am I yes, right? Okay. Definitely. It will use it a lot of power. It will get hot. Yeah. And we were not originally planning on using a lot of power for the light source, but now that we realize how much how powerful it needs to be, we're going to be using a lot of light. One of the problems with this model is that this axe was actually designed to save plastic, this little encaved area, but it will probably need to be used for the power and efficiency of the light source. But it might have to be redesigned later because we're going to work on building or planning a light source today. Yes, because we need a light source. This a very, very powerful very light. Important. Yeah, a very powerful light source. And even if it's just like taped on a wood board, that's fine today. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the original plan for the LED source would be just a kind of LED strip that would kind of wrap around itself multiple times. And then I just remind, remembered that we have these little tiny things that we might be able to put in a grid and wire them all together. And they'd be even brighter and, oh. Nice going, Matt. <laughs> I don't know though, so I'll have to try it out. Yeah. It's really, <laughs> it's pretty bright. That is pretty bright. I mean, if we line those up in a grid, that might work pretty good. That could work, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I also had another idea that was a complete shot in the dark and it's an old tube television we know from the slow-mo guys. And I'll actually put a link to their video up in the corner there and in the description. I um, doubt we will. Yeah, Matt I will won't remember. remember. But Matt I'll try. Remember. Matt will try to remember. So basically it uses a laser almost and goes and points each pixel on the screen. 
So I was thinking, what if we took the glass off of the front of a tube, old tube television, and then use the laser and hey, put the hey, laser. Uh, light. Good job, good job, man. It's and we right. oh, and we put the laser on top of the pyramid, so then it got projected onto it. I don't know, just a thought. It could, it could work. It could, it could work. work. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna try it now. That's not. But if we get a chance to get a super cheap tube television, I think we'll do it. Yeah, we try. Oh it. my goodness, it did it again, man. <laughs> We weren't I'm, even using it this time. I'm literally going to just, like, shoot someone. We're looking at different, what are they called? SMDs. SMDs, which I don't remember what it stands for. They're very similar to LEDs. Yeah. For the most part. I thought it was how they were mounted. Oh, like, but look at this. It's like a panel. It's a panel grid. And actually, this is a quick learning thing. Um, most display monitors and actually panels for filming use one LED strip. And you can see this is the one LED strip. It's called a surface-mounted device. So okay. It is a surface mount. It's basically a surface mounted LED. Okay. So basically this puts it through a piece of plastic and the plastic has little divots in it. If we zoom in there, you can see the little dots and that's where it get reflected to. So that's basically how those work, but our plan is to make it even brighter. We're actually going to use grids of LEDs and then we're going to have we're going to come up with some way to diffuse the light to make sure it's the same throughout the whole thing. Hey, okay. So I'm going to be I did some pretty cool things this week. I went out to my grandparents' house and we were hiking. And then my grandfather said the funniest thing. He goes, wow, look at that cloud up there. It's a big one. I think that's big enough to be the Google cloud. No views, guys. Just kidding, it's private. We're gonna hopefully go get some SMDs or some sort of LED source of bright light. And we're in the car. Yeah. And now I'm gonna plug in a USB cable because Flippity Flappity. Evan's phone's about to die. Yeah, my phone's about to die. So first we're going to Fry's to look for SMDs. And then if we can't find them, then we're gonna to go to Pet Boys. Yup. See, it's kinda of like a random place, but it might have a Yeah, because a lot of the places we were looking at for SMDs and LEDs were like auto like related items. So we thought that they might have it there. So we're gonna try. Yeah. Woo!